NHL 24 is looking to completely change the way we play the game and passing is getting a huge overhaul. Today, I'm gonna take you through this change, give you my thoughts, and hopefully help you guys be prepared so you aren't blindsided when NHL 24 drops on October 6th. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate it as I'm on that road to 50K. And make sure to leave a like on the video if you're excited for NHL 24. When it comes to passing, here's what EA had to say in the new NHL 24 reveal trailer. Vision Passing puts tape-to-tape -tape play with your teammates at your fingertips, offering quicker direct passes to keep puck possession and mount that all-important pressure. By mapping the controller's face buttons to your teammates, Vision Passing doesn't just allow more efficient passing, but opens up different opportunities like disguising a pass on a PP to set up the perfect play. This also unlocks stretch and breakaway passes, giving you new ways to attack the net. But hitting the correct button alone won't guarantee a perfect pass. Gameplay components and player attributes all factor into a successful play. Now, I've actually spent time playing NHL 24. I have spent hours using the new vision passing system. Hopefully, I can offer some insight on the new way we pass. So, in NHL 24, when holding down the pass button, which is R2 on PlayStation or right trigger on Xbox, it will bring up icons above players' heads. By mapping the controller's face buttons to your teammates, making a choice on who you want to pass to is as simple as pressing one of the face buttons on your controller. Now, using the face buttons on the controller should, in theory, make passes much more accurate and use one-touch passing to help you set up unreal plays. Plus, we've added one-touch passing, which lets you quickly move the puck around the ice by tapping the pass button as the puck is in transit. Altogether, this creates so many more exciting passing opportunities and ways for players to get creative on the ice. On top of that, here's what EA had to say about vision passing in the press release. A remapping of face buttons to your teammates, along with new visual iconography above pass receivers, allows for more direct passing and the ability to pass anywhere at any time on the ice. In addition, one-touch passing lets you quickly move the puck around the ice and capitalize on big opportunities by tapping the pass button as the puck is in transit. All of this empowers more creative and authentic passing. Now, hey, a really important thing to remember because this is a, a discussion and a conversation we've had online. Stats still matter when it comes to using face buttons. Not every pass is gonna be completely accurate. There is user error and stats in overall are definitely gonna make a difference, or at least should. The lower the stats, the less likely your passing will be accurate. Now, it's very important to note, you can still pass exactly like you did back in NHL 23. Things have not changed in that regard. Holding down the pass button will still be a harder pass but will make it likely to be less accurate. The difference here is when you're holding down the pass button, icons will appear above players' heads that you do not need to use to pass. You're still free to manually pass the puck anywhere you want. Now to help get prepared for NHL 24, I have a suggestion. Hop into NHL 23 and turn on pass aim targeting. Doing this in NHL 24 is gonna really help you get used to the new passing system. This is my suggestion every year to learn how the passing system is gonna work. And now one thing to note is that you pass while using L3. I've seen discussions and I've had talks with people who thought it was R3 that helped you aim. The right stick does not aim your pass. It is the left stick while you're skating. Now guys, saucer passes are gonna work the exact same way they did in NHL 23. There will be no icons to pass to when saucer passing. To saucer pass, you press R1 on the PlayStation or right bumper on Xbox. That being said, if you want to become more accurate with your saucer passes, again, I do suggest using the pass aim assist, at least at the beginning of the game. Get used to the new passing controls, get used to everything that's new, so that way you're not blindsided and confused when NHL 24 drops and other people are passing and doing much better than you. Now again, even with the pass aim assist, you know, the pass aim targeting we're looking at, it doesn't mean it's 100% accurate. Stats, user error, and overalls are still going to affect passing. However, with my time with the new passing system and playing around with pass aim targeting, I can honestly say it's easier to pass. It just feels more accurate and it goes where I want it to go more often than in years past. Now the new passing system is available on both the brand new total control system, which can be seen right here. R2 pass and icon passing is now the change. And of course, saucer pass for R1 as well as skill stick, which will be making a return in NHL 24. Now, with my time in NHL 24, I did not see hybrid or NHL 94 controls. They weren't in the game. That could definitely change by launch on October 6th, but as of right now, I have no idea if they will actually be appearing in NHL 24. 
Now, if you have any questions regarding a new passing system or anything regarding NHL 24 at all, make sure you leave it down below and I will get back to you ASAP. For now, that is going to do it for this video. Hopefully, I helped explain the new passing system to you guys. Vision passing is going to be a lot of fun to use in NHL 24. I'm already having fun using it now, setting up some unreal plays. On one, Stevenson with no sec. Now the trailer back across. Beautiful goal. And being able to make some passes that I never thought possible is a lot of fun as well. Trying to get to that wraparound spot. Sen's going to lead pass. Hopkins. And I can't wait for you guys to get your hands on the game. The beta drops in a couple days. And of course, on October 3rd, early access starts for the X Factor Edition and EA Play, followed by the worldwide release on October 6th. For now, I'm out of here, but I will see you again tomorrow with another video. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching, y'all. Stay frosty.